All right, guys. This is a Gomexis HX30. This is a trolling reel. Wow, a really big, hefty trolling reel at it. They have this HX20 and the 30. The gear ratio is 3.6 on the high, 1.6 on the low. Capacity, 700 yards of 100 pound braid. That is more than plenty. If you dump out 200 yards behind you on a troll, you still got 500 yards, plenty of room right there. Let's open this up. Right on the box immediately, you're gonna get a schematic of the reel itself and it gives you everything laid out along with the part numbers that you need. I looked at Gomex's website on the detail of this. They specify that on your first year of purchase, they would do a replacement a full replacement on any problems that you have with the reel. Now, after the first year, you have up to, from the data purchase, up to three years for repair work, any type of service that you would need with them. They do have a service center in Tampa, Florida. So your shipment wouldn't be to China. If you're in the States, it would be to Florida. So let's take a look at the reel itself. Parts wise, we have here your clamp, hex style key for tools and a little wrench right there, right? Your clamps, pretty standard, uh, nothing fancy. Looks like a stamped steel. I've seen variations from cast aluminum to cast steel, the reel itself. Let's take this out. So what do we have here? You have full CNC machined aluminum and marine grade stainless steel gears inside. The reason why they stated marine grade is they are a lot more resistant to corrosion from salt elements. So using this in the ocean is exactly its purpose. You'll also see steel parts of the hardware from the trolling lugs, the handle arm. These are your plate covers, push button for the two speed as well. Looks to be stainless steel. Here you go, stainless steel on the real seat. Traditionally, I would see four screws or rivets into the real seat. Uh, you have an additional two more in the center row. The spool itself also CNC machined aluminum, uh, handle, cover plate for the two-speed mechanism, uh, the drag cam, and I'm feeling that this lever is steel on the arm, but the top push knob is actual, the lever knob itself is feels like aluminum, and seam applies to the clicker. So steel on the arm and then aluminum for the actual knob. So very interesting composition of metals used here. Um, feels a lot better than seeing anything with a little bit of plastic. The only other ones that you would see something like this, I feel like is an older international. This is what it, it really looks like to me. I don't own any trolling wheels, although the reels I have have trolling lugs. Um, all of mine are topless frames, ideally, uh, or I converted it to a topless frame and I'm using it specifically for night jigging. So this is, it's hefty. This is a hefty reel. I got this scale here. This is an AliExpress special. Ounces. See where it locks down at. If you guys could read that. 61.5 ounces. Man, that's heavy. I mean, I, I'm close to there on the Makaira and the VASX20. I think those are in the 50 range. Uh, this one's up there and it, it is a 30, so I don't have a 30 reel. So I, that could be close to a 30. What you have inside is same thing we, what we said, it was stainless steel, marine grade gears and main gear. That should be plenty. I mean, if you, see that the drag the drag specified that it was 95 pounds max drag i won't ever me personally i won't ever reach anywhere near that or even half of that which is like 47 and a half pounds of drag i don't think i will get near that for me i'm going to put 100 pound braid it says 700 yards i'm going to be able to fit in here i'm going to put 100 pound braid and i'll be somewhere around like maybe like 25 pounds of drag maybe up to 30. And that's gonna be more than sufficient there for this. Not even using max drag, I think we're really good to go. And this would be just something, drop a lure down the back of the boat. And 700 yards, 200 yards dumped of line. Less, whatever you reach, you still got plenty of line on that. So the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna fill this up with line. So let's continue for part two after that. 